Mr. Sihun smiled politely and replied, Yes, please act quickly. The deadline is tomorrow. The fat director was shocked and said, Tomorrow? Mr. Sihun, tomorrow is too hard for us. Mr. Sihun said, Is that so? I will request the shareholders' meeting to be postponed until the morning after tomorrow. If you want to stop the meeting, you better hurry up. Goodbye. Mr. Sihun and the male lead left before the fat director's astonishment. At this time, they left the company and got in the car. Mr. Sihun pulled his tie impatiently and said, These dogs are definitely 100% greedy. Du Jun opened his mouth and said, We will act tomorrow. We have to confirm the right to audit the accounting books and check the assets of DA construction first. Mr. Sihun said, That's fast. You have learned well, haven't you? Du Jun smiled and said, It's still a long way to go. I'm just a disciple who has just left the mountain, master. Mr. Sihun laughed loudly at that. Then he took out his old brick phone and dialed a number. He said to the goat head on the other side, Yes, it's me. Call all the appraisal team to come. Call Samsung Accounting and ask them to send me a summary of all the accounting firms. Tell the investigation team to wait for orders. We will start the meeting in ten minutes. The scene switched to the huge villa of the old chairman. He sat in his room with his arms crossed and said to Dujun, What do you want to see me urgently for? And why don't you let me go out? Dujun said, I need your help. The grandfather smiled happily and said, Tell me what it is and let me think how much I should charge. The male lead thought to himself, He always mentions money but he always gives more than he takes. He is always generous with his grandson, isn't he? Du Jun said, I'm dealing with DA Construction. This is a company that is necessary for the Mabo's SMC project this year. The old chairman said, Your opening is too long. Get to the point. Du Jun looked cold and said, The owner and board of directors of that company are gnawing on the last bones of a collapsing company. I intend to take over the company before that happens. What do you think? The old chairman was surprised and then a smile appeared on his lips. He laughed loudly and said, You are indeed a lucky kid. Du Jun thought to himself, he still pretends to be ignorant but he already knows what's going on and what to do next. The grandfather asked cunningly, Who is the director of this construction company? Is it Kong something? Du Jun said, It's Director Kamijin. His younger brother Kamijin is the executive director. The old chairman asked, Have you met him already? Du Jun said, Yes, I just want to confirm it. The old man asked again, so you must have found out that they are embezzling money, right? Du Jun answered, Yes, as soon as Fantasy owned 5% of DA's shares, they contacted us immediately. He said he would buy back the shares. The old chairman was amazed and said, 5%? I heard that there are many wolves in the stock market who are gnawing on bones like that. It turns out that it was Sihun's idea. Du Jun answered, Yes. When DA construction collapsed, their share price started to drop sharply and there were rumors of bankruptcy. We don't have to spend a lot of money to get DA. Using 5% of shares to stir up the whole company is not only done in companies that are about to collapse. There are people who buy shares of normal companies and become real shareholders and then sell them at a high price. But they have to spend a lot of money to own 5% of shares of normal companies. That's why it's something that ordinary wolves don't dare to do. The old chairman stroked his chin. They must be terrified, right? If you request a shareholders meeting tomorrow, they will also be scared out of their wits. Du Jun replied, instead of a shareholders meeting, I plan to check their books and get the evidence tomorrow. They are withdrawing from the company. The old man asked, so you intend to send them to jail? Du Jun replied, Yes, I have to recover all the assets that were stolen from the company. After that, if I reorganize the company in a new start, won't the company gradually gain a reputation? He finished speaking and looked at the old chairman silently. 
The old chairman thought for a while and then said to the male lead Du Jun. The family of director Kanmo holds a large number of shares. You have to get them in your hands to ensure your management rights. Du Jun said, cash or property embezzlement will be punished more. If the family of director Kanu Sun turns the shares they hold into assets owned by DA Construction, then the number of shares needed to ensure management rights will not be much. The old man said happily, because you are the director representative who controls the common assets of the company. Du Jun smiled and replied, that's for sure. The old chairman said again, then the road ahead is still long, but we don't have time. At least until next month, after buying back DA construction and normalizing everything, we can proceed with the Mabo project with your uncle. Your uncle will also become the mayor of Seoul by then. Du Jun replied, yes, what I want to ask you is about that time. The old chairman was surprised. At that time? Why? Then he pondered for a while and said to the male lead Du Jun, time is precious and cannot be bought with money. Du Jun calmly replied, although you can't buy longevity, you can totally buy life for people. You have also used something called salary to buy the lives of 100,000 employees of Sun Yen. What else? The old chairman looked at Du Jun with surprise. This kid is giving me a headache again. He said first, we have to ban the Kanu Sun family from leaving the country. The amount of money transferred abroad is also quite large, so the Ministry of Justice has ordered an investigation. Du Jun heard that and immediately brightened his eyes. He moved forward and massaged the old man's shoulder. Then please help me ban them from leaving for now. The old man replied, massage me more enthusiastically then. He then picked up the phone and made a call. He said to the person on the other end of the line, Inspector Kim, are you busy? Du Jun was astonished. Inspector? Why? The old chairman continued, that's what I mean. Our country's economy is in this situation, so how can we ignore a company that is on the verge of bankruptcy just to fill their pockets? No, no, first we should stop them from escaping abroad. That's right, I will find out more and report to you later. Let's meet for a chat sometime. The old chairman achieved his goal and hung up the phone. He turned to Du Jun and asked, Are you satisfied now? Du Jun smiled happily and replied, Thank you very much. He then enthusiastically massaged the old man. The old chairman said again, Tomorrow we will only review the accounting books. You need to get at least one piece of evidence and use it to file a lawsuit against the board of directors for embezzlement. If the tax office and the prosecution act at the same time, then the other side will surrender. The male lead was amazed. Surrender? What exactly does he mean by surrender? The old chairman said again, Du Jun, what is your real purpose of buying back DA construction? Du Jun replied, to help the SMC project this year succeed. The old chairman closed his eyes and replied, just say that much for now. Think about the things behind it later. The male lead pondered. He only looked at the immediate goal and chose the things that needed to be done right away. The more urgent it was, the more he needed to focus on short-term goals rather than long-term ones. Is that what he meant? The old chairman said further, after the end of the local election in June, if you want to work with your uncle, you have to control DA construction by early this year at the latest, right? Du Jun doubted and replied, yes, sir. The old man said again, what if after the prosecution collects evidence and starts a trial for embezzlement? It will take several years to recover the money in their pockets and confiscate it to return to the company. In the meantime, the DA company will go bankrupt. The lenders will start calculating how to deal with the problem. The fastest way is that DA will be in your hands in two years. Du Jun pondered. Indeed, time was the issue. He had taken the initiative to ask for a shorter time. And he was getting an answer from him. Du Jun said, so your surrender has a different meaning. You mean you have to prepare a way to live, right? 
The old man smiled smugly and said coldly, that's right. The prosecutor and the tax office are just for scaring. You have to make them choose between becoming penniless and going to jail in two years or agreeing to pay everything and keep enough to not starve and flee abroad. Du Jun was shocked. Does he have the power to adjust these things? He could not have the power that he had even if he spent thousands of billions of won. He used time to fill the gap of money. He gave money to the state officials and they sold their conscience for that money. At the moment they sold their conscience, they were in his grip. This kept going around and became Sun Yan's power. Du Jun's fingers began to tremble slightly. He felt the carelessness in the saying that money can buy time. The old chairman was still thinking deeply. He was a rich thinker indeed. Du Jun said, I will take care of the surrender, so can you continue to direct the prosecutor and the tax office? The old chairman smiled happily. Let's see how you act. Du Jun bowed. I will try my best. The old chairman said sternly, Don't just talk. Du Jun replied politely, Whatever you want, just tell me. I will listen carefully. The old man continued to think and then said, If you take over DA construction, you have to put my people in the vacant positions in the board of directors. Du Jun stiffened. Is that the request? If it was not only the representative director but also the decision maker like the executive director who was his person, then who would DA construction belong to? The old chairman said cunningly, you don't have anyone to hold on anyway. If you don't use my people, have you thought of anyone yet? Du Jun answered, there are still many people in the two collapsed companies, Dong Su Construction and Gooden Construction. I also promoted many managers to directors here. This will help improve the situation. The old chairman was surprised. Oh, have you thought of that already? Du Jun pretended to smile and said, do you think that's okay? The old chairman crossed his arms and said, Oh no, of course not. The executive director of a construction company must be able to handle those site managers and workers who are exposed to all kinds of storms. They also dare to threaten the residents who are relocated. They are just those who drink rice wine at noon and command the site. I heard they even made those people in high positions. Du Jun remained silent. Although those who came from construction companies were not very good, he thought anyone who had a higher position than the executive director would become a politician. Did I make a mistake in this step? The chairman would say that I am worried, right? I have to weigh whether our country's water is a tonic or a poison. A company that only has our people. I am afraid that I will lose everything to Sun Yen, right? The male lead was petrified when he heard that. He is a tycoon who knows everything. The old man saw that and his eyes flashed. Du Jun said again, I have already told you that I will hand over the construction project to Sun Yen. The chairman sneered. How can I believe this from an ambitious person like you who would give it to Sun Yen? Du Jun was stunned when he heard that. How? The old man knows everything. When Du Jun was standing still, waiting for his husband, the old man said, What are you thinking about with such a serious face? Du Jun woke up and saw the old man's unpredictable smile. He said again, What you have is only money. You don't have time, power, or human resources. Moreover, if you refuse my offer, not only the construction project but also SMC will disappear. Du Jun thought at this time. He was right. I should only worry when I still have a choice. I have to trust the most consistent point in what he has given me from the beginning until now, which is people. Maybe he will give me more people. Du Jun replied, the audit position is not possible, sir. The people from Director Sihun will take over that position. The chairman laughed and wanted to hold the key to the warehouse. Du Jun was silent and did not say anything. The chairman stood up and said seriously, Du Jun, those who do construction are capable of embezzling costs to the highest level. They can bring hundreds of workers to work and fire them in the blink of an eye. Do you think that's all? 
If they change the rough wood worth hundreds of millions of molds with wooden bars worth ten molds, what then? See whom? Or the person he intends to bring in, do they know how to distinguish rough wood? They even dare to embezzle the weight of steel bars and even the side dishes of the cafeteria. How do you think a person who only knows how to type on a computer like Sihun can protect the warehouse? Du Jun realized this problem at this time. He had never thought of it before. The old man said arrogantly. Du Jun, do you still not understand the meaning of this old man? Du Jun thought at this time. The construction company is the hot spot of corporate corruption in Korea, corruption deals, embezzlement of construction costs, selling bids. He was advising me to grasp everything, right? I have to accept that my body will burst before I can see the truth of his words, right? The old chairman looked at his grandson with a proud smile. He said, if you can comfortably control the executive directors of the construction companies, it means you have learned how to deal with the servants. They will know how to make money for you and when you need to use money from unknown sources, there is no place more reliable than construction companies. The protagonist suddenly understood what he meant. He had only guessed half of his question. It turned out that he meant that when he got construction DA, instead of having to accept getting dirty, he could secure his own black fund. The old man smiled happily at this time. Du Jun also smiled at his cunning grandfather. His grandfather was teaching him these things. The old chairman said again, Tomorrow I will send the audit team of construction Sun Yen to Si Hoon. They are even worse than the lower level audit companies. They just need to scan the invoices and tax bills to know everything. Du Jun thought that he helped him to this extent. If he couldn't swallow construction DA, it was because he was incompetent. Then Du Jun bowed and said, Thank you, grandfather. The old chairman replied, You should save your gratitude for later, right? Du Jun was confused and looked up. He asked, What do you mean, grandfather? The old chairman replied, You have to understand that these things may also be for the benefit of Sun Yen. Don't play dirty with me and then sit there crying and complaining. The old chairman laughed loudly and looked very happy. Du Jun thought that he always played the game of throwing and releasing. At this time, the scene switched to construction DA company. A few employees were staring at the other side in astonishment. The receptionist was also frozen looking in that direction. There was a group of men walking into the company, led by Mr. Si Hoon, along with Du Jun and a few others. The group of people looked cool and took all the spotlight of the company. At this time, the female employee at the reception desk was also confused looking at them. The fat director ran to Director Si Hoon and asked, What is this? Mr. Si Hoon stroked his chin and replied, Do you want to talk here? Everyone will hear it. The fat director was angry but couldn't say anything. He asked him to go to the meeting room. The fat director held his head and looked at Mr. Si Hoon leisurely walking in. The fat director turned his head and asked, What are you doing? How can you find a buyer in just one night? I said I would solve it today. Mr. Si Hoon replied, The person sitting in the position of executive director hasn't arrived yet? The fat director replied, What do you mean? Mr. Si Hoon calmly said, It's over. From now on we will care about the rights of shareholders. The fat director looked at Mr. Sihoon in confusion. A man in black in Mr. Sihoon's group said, Article 14 of the Law on Independent Auditing for Joint Stock Companies states that shareholders or creditors have the right to view the company's documents and records at any time during business hours. They can pay the fees set by the company and request the transfer of documents. Did you hear me clearly, Mr. Sihoon? Bring all the accounting documents from last year and the year before, along with the evidence files for the past two years, to this meeting room. As a shareholder, I doubt the ability of the executive board. How did you manage the company to let it fall into this situation? I want to investigate it personally. The fat director's face turned pale when he heard that. He stood on his feet and looked at the newcomers. 
One of them, who was the owner of his company, asked the fat director. What are you waiting for, director? Hurry up and bring the requested documents to this room. Unless you want things to get worse. The fat director was sweating profusely by then. The scene switched to another room, where a loud voice rang out. The people from Fantasy want to audit, so they are waiting in the meeting room. What's going on? I told you to settle it smoothly yesterday. The fat director replied hastily. I clearly stated my intention to sell back the shares. I didn't expect them to stab us in the back like that. The other man said. How do you work like that? It turns out that he is the general director of DA Construction Company Kong Mo Soon. The fat man was silent and didn't know what to say. Then Kong Mu Soon pressed a series of numbers on the desk phone. He said to the person on the other end. Director, it's me here. Then he panicked. What? Is it the same over there? They also went to the accounting office on that side? The person on the other end also whispered yes. Kong Mu Soon was angry and clenched his phone and cursed those dogs. The fat man asked him then. Is this a trick to raise the share price? Kong Mu Soon frowned and said. Ha! Huh. The fat man continued. Isn't it? Their eyes and expressions were still happy yesterday. They wouldn't do something like this for no reason. The purpose must be money related to stocks, right? Kang Mu Sun stroked his chin and thought. Is it just a show? The fat man stupidly said. Of course it is. External auditing won't help them either. Kang Mu Sun frowned again. So what's the conclusion? The fat man answered. I'll take Si Hoon here. You have to break their play. Kang Mu soon crossed his arms and thought. The fat man urged him. You don't have time to hesitate anymore. We have to solve it before things get louder. Kang Mu Sun closed his eyes and said. I know, hurry up and bring him here. The fat man was happy and said yes sir. At that time, in the other office, Director Si Hoon asked him what he said. If the general director has something to say, he should come here that day instead of waiting for us here today. And don't waste time anymore, hurry up and bring the accounting books here. The fat man looked like a crocodile at that time, angry and ashamed. The scene switched again, two brothers from the Kin family sat in a room, the older brother was restless and walked back and forth. The fat man saw that and calmly said. Don't worry. How can those investors from Judo find what we hid in those documents? It seems they are trying to do that to negotiate better, but there is no such easy thing. They don't know what to look for, they will surely call me after being buried in those documents. A lot of documents and books were displayed on the table. Du Jun's people divided themselves to look for traces of their corruption. They are searching very seriously on this side. Everyone is carefully looking for the remaining traces Du Jun looked at the paper in front of him. Someone walked by and said, Director Si Hoon, look at this. It seems like currency speculation. Mr. Si Hoon carefully looked at the paper. The other person continued, moreover, the last transfer amount was not sent back to the country. Mr. Si Hoon asked, so they ignored the exchange rate and embezzled dollars as well? The other person answered, yes, they pretended to import raw materials to get dollars and then used them to speculate on foreign exchange. The exchange rate is fluctuating now, so they are withdrawing money fiercely. Du Jun on this side asked, was the import of raw materials also a lie? The other person answered, that's right. Look at this invoice. You can see that they imported high-end interior equipment such as chandeliers with this quantity. It would need about six containers because of the large quantity, but in fact they only used one container. These guys colluded with the customs. Mr. Sihun looked at the paper for a while and then raised his head and asked, Are you sure? The other person answered, We are sure. We have touched these products more than a hundred times. I don't know what my bowl at home looks like or how many there are, 
but I know the size and price of these products very well. Mr. Sihun closed his eyes solemnly and did not speak. Then he stood up and said, let's go to the director's office. Du Jun hurriedly said, wait a minute. You should call first. Then Du Jun took out his phone and called. The person on the other end of the line answered, what's up? Du Jun answered, you sent all the good people here. They found a huge secret in less than two hours. At this rate, the knife will be in my hand. The old chairman on the other end of the line laughed loudly and said, See? They are all professionals. Du Jun smiled and answered, I have seen it with my own eyes, so I understand very well. The old man said again, I will call the prosecutor's office today. They will bring a search warrant. Du Jun quickly answered, Thank you. Then he hung up happily. He looked at the two people and said cheerfully, Let's go. At this time, Du Jun and the two people arrived at the director's office. The fat man stood up and greeted them, Oh my, why are you here so soon? There's still time to check carefully. Don't you want to see the documents that everyone is looking forward to? Are you impatient? Kamusan heard that and smiled faintly. Du Jun just looked at them and smiled and then said, Looking at you two like that, I understand why the company is in this situation. Do you think we just turned everything over in the past two hours? The two brothers panicked and asked, Who are you to talk like that? Du Jun smiled and answered, I am the one who just reported the board of directors and the owner of DA Construction to the prosecution. Is that enough to make you talk politely? The two brothers were shocked and stood up quickly. What? Du Jun calmly answered, You must have planted about three or four people in the prosecutor's office, right? If you don't believe me, you can verify it yourself. The two brothers looked at each other and signaled. The fat man ran out of the room to verify what Du Jun said. Kamusun was angry and pointed his finger and said, What are you trying to do? If you want to ruin everyone and make the company fail, then your shares will be just a pile of paper. Du Jun looked at him like he was looking at a clown performing. Mr. Sihun also disdainfully replied. At this time, the fat director came back to the room and shouted, Brother, the Financial Investigation Department of the Western Prosecutor's Office has issued an order. Everything is going on in a hurry. It seems that someone is putting pressure on them. Mr. Kang Musun gritted his teeth and cursed. Du Jun said again, after buying back Azen Group and taking over Sun Yan Motor, we should also have some vision. We said we would help each other, but you are making trouble. Director Kong, how can you call it bribery when the state officials voluntarily help us? You have experience, so can you give me some advice? Mr. Kang Musun was angry and clenched his teeth, but he couldn't do anything. Du Jun said, the whole family and the board members are banned from leaving the country. Don't think about escaping by plane. At night, accept the investigation. The two brothers of the Khan family were very surprised to hear this. Du Jun turned to the two people and said, let's go. The two brothers of the Khan family stood still for a long time and couldn't recover their spirits. At this time, Mr. Sihun suddenly said, oh. By the way, if you are afraid of negotiating with the investigation office, just call me. You know my number, right? Don't make up stories before the investigation. The two brothers of the Kong family were still standing on their feet at this time. At this time, it was dark. Inside the villa of the old chairman, a group of people in black suits sat in the meeting room. The leader was the old chairman. He asked who was the youngest person here, the construction director of Sun Yan Hong Kong. He answered, Chairman. I am Director Kim Corset of the Construction Support Department. At this time, Director Kim stood up and bowed. The old chairman was surprised. When did you get promoted? Director Kim answered. I was promoted to director in the spring of last year in the regular evaluation. The old chairman praised him, you got promoted in just one year. You are lucky. Mr. Kim thought to himself, what are you talking about old man? 
but he still calmly looked at the chairman. The directors below were also shocked. From director to executive director in just one year? The secretary of the chairman answered, everyone will soon move to another company. Of course, that company has better benefits than Sun Yen Construction. The position will also increase by one or two levels. The directors were confused. What is that? Is there such a thing? The people there were shocked to move to another company. The important thing is not to get promoted and get a raise. Moving to another company means they are demoted if it is not a subsidiary company. The secretary continued, the new company is Construction DA. The others were surprised, isn't that company going bankrupt? Moreover, it has no connection with Sun Yen Group. The old chairman spoke up at this time. The old chairman smiled and said, Construction DA will soon be under fantasy's control. You know fantasy, right? Someone answered, isn't that the company that bought back the Asin Group and merged with Sun Yen? The old chairman answered, that's right. That's the investor. They are still working on it now, but in about two months they will become the major shareholder of Construction DA. A bald man with a big belly answered. I heard that DA was about to go bankrupt. The old chairman calmly said, I will take it over before it goes bankrupt and help it recover. He looked at everyone and saw that they were still worried. He said, don't interrupt me when I'm talking. The others quickly bowed their heads. I'm sorry, chairman, they said. The chairman said, it's okay. This is a very unexpected situation, so it's natural for you to react like this. In short, what you need to do is very clear. That is to help DA stabilize as soon as possible. The others replied, yes, chairman. The old chairman closed his eyes and smiled smugly. He said, after DA recovers, it will become a subsidiary of Sun Yen within two years. It will not merge with Sun Yen construction. Everyone, try your best to revive DA. If we merge, we will have to cut many positions, right? It will become another construction company of the group. An old man with glasses interrupted and asked, Chairman, I'm sorry. But what is the relationship between Fantasy and Sun Yen? Is Fantasy an investment company that you founded? His question made the whole meeting room silent. The old chairman just smiled and said, I wish Fantasy belonged to me. I heard that the company has a lot of cash. The old man with glasses was still confused and asked, Then what? The chairman crossed his arms and pondered. Lee Hass, the secretary, also did not dare to ask anything. He just wondered if he could guess the answer today. The chairman smiled and answered, The major shareholder of fantasy is someone I trust very much, just like the people here. You can say that he used his own capital to build that company. The secretary was very surprised when he heard the chairman say that. He could only think of Du Jun's image. He clenched his fist. Du Jun, he remembered that person and a mysterious smile appeared on his face. The secretary frowned and thought. The missing piece was completed. Chairman Jean was the kind of person who would never help anyone unless they were his blood relatives. The person who made the chairman trust him and consider him as a key talent of Sun Yen and always supported fantasy to hunt down domestic enterprises was only Du Jun, the nephew of Chairman Jean. Maybe the inheritance of the chairman would be passed on to his nephew instead of his son. The secretary looked at the chairman who was happy on this side. After thinking for a while, he just kept silent and did not say anything. At this time, at the prosecutor's office of the Republic of Korea, a pile of documents was placed on the cabinet. Kang Imo's son sat in the office with Du Jun, Mr. Si Hoon and another person. Du Jun said, is there any better condition for Chairman Kong than this condition? Kim Yuzin was silent and did not say anything. Du Jun persuaded him, you have money to live on and you don't need to run away abroad. You can come back anytime or just stay in your homeland Korea. 
However, if you don't accept this condition, then all the monthly salary paid to your children will also be considered as illegal gifts and will be returned to the company. Kamu Su looked at the mushroom-headed man in front of him who was eating well. He was angry and gritted his teeth. He remembered the scene that day in the messy office. The mushroom-headed man pointed at him and said, Don't you remember? I have stamped the guarantee already. Remember it, old man. Kamu Su cursed angrily, you bastard. How dare you? The mushroom-headed man continued to say, you scum. When the country could collapse at any time, you only cared about foreign words and always felt short of money even though you played soccer when everything was like you did. No one would oppose you when you were executed by hanging. You scoundrel. Kamu Sun could only grit his teeth and do nothing. The director calmly offered him a pack of cigarettes. Do you want one? Kamu Sun angrily sneered. Why is the dark office doing this to me? The director calmly took a long puff and then opened his mouth. Who do you think is the most powerful person in our country right now? Kamu Sun answered. Don't tell me the top has, the director replied. No, right now in our country, whoever holds the dollar will become king. Kamu Sun asked in confusion. What are you talking about? The director answered. Fantasy is holding the dollar and negotiating with the government. The director of that company said he would release the dollar if he could take over the DA construction company that is on the verge of bankruptcy. Director Kong has become their prey. Kong Mu Sun felt like the sky was falling when he heard that. The director continued. Moreover, the evidence of your embezzlement is too clear. There are many witnesses, such as leaders, employees, and documents. There is no way to intervene anymore. Kang Mu Sun asked again. Does that mean I will be prosecuted? The director answered. If you want to avoid disaster, you have to know where to stand in line. At this moment, Kang Mu Sun escaped from his memory and looked at Du Jun, thinking to himself. Fantasy? Then he opened his mouth and asked. What do you want? Du Jun answered. Bring all the money you embezzled from the company here. Not a single penny less. We will buy the shares and your family's holdings with that money. You don't have to worry about your old age. Kamu Sun asked again. What about the prosecutor's investigation? At this time, the prosecutor who was eating had finished his meal. Du Jun answered. Of course, they will stop the investigation. Kang Mu Sun was horrified and knew he couldn't beat him. He bowed his head and answered. I will cooperate with you. Keep your promise. Du Jun smiled happily. Finally, he finished his work. Then Du Jun's car sped on the big road. Inside, Si Hoon asked. Roughly, it's about 8 billion won, right? Du Jun answered. That way, we can get at least 150 billion won. Si Hoon answered. According to you, it will be at least 200 billion. Du Jun was shocked. 200 billion won? Si Hoon Engian Zhang answered. Yes, maybe 8 billion won is from last year. He embezzled everything he could. We have to find it all. Du Jun said indifferently. We can find it. We have to let that old man know that his remaining life is exchanged for money. Si Hoon answered. Even if we find everything, I still feel angry when I think about that scum enjoying his old age with the money from selling shares. Du Jun said. There is no such thing. The money from the shares will all be transferred to the company. Si Hoon was surprised and asked. Do you intend to make him a beggar? Is that right? Du Jun answered. That's why I said we have to meet his parents or grandparents or a good grandfather. Si Hoon was speechless when he heard that and looked at the kid Du Jun who finished speaking and looked out the window with a very scheming face. Life is so ridiculous. The world moves in the way I want it to. Those who have money see the world as an amusement park, those who don't see it as hell. 
I have experienced this saying deeply. The scene changes to this moment. The old chairman held a cup of coffee and asked. Did that gutsy director easily give up his assets? Du Jun answered. He revealed himself that he took 80 billion won. Sun Yan's audit team and Judo's accountants are investigating the past with the help of prosecutors and the staff. They will surely find out more things. The old chairman asked again. Do you plan to pay him when he transfers his shares? That amount of money is not small, you know. Du Jun replied. Anyway, the embezzlement has been exposed, so to avoid being punished, you intend to transfer your son's money to the company as well. The chairman laughed loudly. Director Kong is about to become a beggar. Du Jun frowned. I can't forgive him at all. The old chairman was surprised. Can't forgive him? What made our Du Jun so angry? Du Jun said indignantly. Even though he was late in paying salaries, he just had to pay the employees and I would give him some money to live on. But he only cared about himself and made 2,000 employees endure day by day. Recently, bank loans have been blocked, so many people have used the company's bonds to pay for living expenses. Director Kanimo soon also had to experience their despair. The old chairman sighed. It's painful. Who could have predicted this? How do you understand the feelings of the wage earners? Du Jun bowed his head and thought. Because I used to be a wage earner too. When I opened my bank account and saw a month's salary cut, my family almost collapsed and fell into a debt spiral. I understand that feeling best. Du Jun answered. I can't forget the expression of the DA employees when I first came there. The old chairman heard that and closed his eyes to think. That's good, don't forget that feeling. No matter what happens, you have to feed the employees. There is nothing sadder than having to starve. Du Jun was surprised and looked up at him. Does he also have this look? He is a cold-blooded person who only cares about costs and only as workers die at the construction site. The old chairman continued to preach. People will betray you when they are starved. Just look at DA now and you'll know right away. All the employees who used to make chi receipts said they would try to find the money that Director Khan was hiding, right? Du Jun realized that indeed his words about not letting the employees starve had another meaning. The old man continued. There are only two types of people who betray you, one is those who are too hungry and can't stand it anymore, and two are those who eat endlessly and never feel full. In the past, it was your fault for not taking care of their meals, in the future, it was your fault for not knowing how to look at people. Remember that well. Du Jun heard that and pretended to be serious and replied. Yes, then he thought secretly. He is not moved by compassion but just being cautious. On February 25, 1998, the new president of the Republic of Korea took office and he said, Dear people, very precious and valuable, today I officially become the 15th president of the Republic of Korea. On a beautiful day at a tall and spacious building like any other day, Si Hoon and Du Jun were sitting with some high-ranking officials. Si Hoon said, I'm considering the innocent employees of the DA. If the lenders are more generous, those employees will not be kicked out on the street. The official said, What do you want us to do? At this point, Si Hoon handed out a set of documents. The officials were astonished and took them. Si Hoon continued, You can see clearly from the organizational chart that we have a close relationship with the Sun Yen group. The officials heard that and started whispering to each other loudly. Si Hoon asked, What do you think? By now I think you will no longer doubt that an investment company that only knows money can still run a construction company well. The officials still looked at each other and no one spoke up, the one sitting in the middle must be representing everyone and said. I agree that the board of directors is very talented. So what does fantasy want from us? You can present your proposal freely, Si Hoon replied. We hope you can extend the loan term for at least one year, the officials asked. Is there anything else? Si Hoon continued. 
The second thing is to reduce the overdue interest rate and write off the debt. In addition, please transfer the voting rights of DA shares that the bank is holding. The officials looked at each other when they heard that. The fat man said. Then the shares are the only way to check and control the business of the debtor. You want us to give you the shares? Sihun confidently said. What can stop a lunatic like DA? We will return the shares when we regain our position. After he said that, everyone fell silent. The representative of the bank's board of directors said that it would take time to discuss the matter. Is there anything else? Sihun quickly answered no, but at this time Du Jun spoke up. I heard that you are going to sell two commercial banks. Considering the administrative aspect, it would be fair for everyone to get Seoul Young Bank, which can revive strongly. Sihun was surprised and looked at Du Jun in astonishment. Although he was on the same side, the bank director said that was true, there were actually two places that were more dangerous than that. Hearing that, Du Jun asked about Seoul Dong Bank. The staff of Seoul Dong Bank are small in scale, so it will be easy to guess, right? Next, the government is promoting international trade, isn't that a good opportunity? Sihun sat on one side and did not expect the kid to say that. The bank directors asked. Do you intend to buy back Seoul Dong Bank? Du Jun was hit in the heart. He just sneered. Then he said, I mean you can take advantage of us. We will buy it back and then hand it over to you. The two heads of the bank began to think and look at each other. The subordinates also looked at each other in horror when they heard that. Even Si Hung was very surprised by what he had said so far. Then Du Jun stood up and dusted his hands and said, That's it for today. I hope you can quickly respond to our director's proposal. The directors did not understand what was going on when they saw him turn his face so fast. At this time, Du Jun had stood up and left with a very confident smile. Si Hung did not understand what was going on and ran after him and asked, What are you talking about? Buy back the bank? Du Jun replied confidently. When a whale appears, other fish will see it as a pyramid. Isn't that right? Because I want to buy back Seoul Young Bank, they will feel that our proposals are just trivial matters. Those trivial proposals will be easier to accept. Si Hoon was amazed by his nephew's calculations and thoughts. Oh my god, this nephew of mine. He is exactly like his uncle in using tricks. Then he laughed and praised his good strategy. Du Jun smiled inwardly and thought of a good strategy. I wonder how he would react if he knew. I really want to buy back Seoul Young Bank. At this time, at the building of Sun Yen Group, his uncle was holding a paper with the name of a personnel appointment in his hand. He thought to himself that the directors of the construction company resigned en masse but did not inform him why. His subordinate reported that Director Hong Song Trio had received instructions from the chairman sir. The recruitment of Executive Director Bok Che Jin was also decided by Director Hong. The people who resigned were working at Fantasy's office in Yodo. The chairman was very surprised when he heard about Fantasy and Si Hoon's name. His subordinate answered yes sir both Sun Yen Motor and this matter are sure Fantasy has a close relationship with the chairman sir. His uncle had a headache thinking that fantasy could not be his father's gold mine. If his father had a gold mine, he would not make a fuss about it for everyone to know. He angrily asked his subordinate, is there no other news? The subordinate said fearfully, I'm sorry, chairman. They ordered us to keep quiet for a while, so I can only say that everything is still unclear. Why don't you go and see the vice chairman yourself? The chairman said angrily, they are all my people. There is no one worth asking. The subordinate then asked, What about Director Kim Huen Sheet? He is still young to be considered your person, right? It seems that he was recently promoted to the board of directors. He is trying to hold on to the rope, so if the vice chairman calls him, he will surely run here. The chairman then ordered his subordinate to invite him for dinner and not to make a fuss. Then there was the lavish dinner of the vice chairman. 
he poured wine and said, Congratulations on your promotion. I'm late to wish you. Kim Huen Sheet stood up nervously and replied, No, Vice Chairman. The Vice Chairman then asked, You resigned right after being promoted? Kim said, I'm sorry, Vice Chairman. I have to prepare urgently, so I haven't had time to greet you properly. The Vice Chairman pretended to be happy and said, Whether you work outside or inside, you are still a person of Sun Yen. What else? He paused for two seconds to observe Kim Huen Sheet's face. Then he asked further, Do you feel tired working with Director Si Hoon? Kim replied, I'm fine. He has lived abroad for a long time, so he is very straightforward. The vice chairman thought to himself, looking at his attitude, he must not be on guard. Let me start slowly. He then asked aloud, Do you mean that the work is progressing fast? Director Kim Huen Sheet explained, Yes. The day of buying DA construction is coming. Dan and moved to Nam Media City and also has a clear idea. The detailed plan is done. The construction period and total cost are calculated. It can be completed in half a year. The vice chairman then said, You think buying DA construction is a digital city? What is he talking about? At this point, Kim continued, Do June? The head of the department is also do June. He is very good. Sometimes I feel that he is leading us instead of learning. He is truly the chairman's blood. The vice chairman heard the name Jin Du Jun and got angry. Why is that kid there? He asked, there is also Du Jun? Head of department? I heard it for the first time. Kim was surprised and asked, you don't know? It's nothing. He just followed director Si Hoon to help deliver business cards. The chairman didn't believe that Du Jun was learning from director Si Hoon. He said, it's the first time I heard that our youngest grandson followed director Si Hoon to learn. What did he learn there? Kim laughed and said, oh, I'm sorry. I misspoke. The vice chairman laughed and continued, it's okay. I'm too busy to pay attention to what our nephew is doing. Don't worry, just speak freely. Kim said, you must have guessed it without the chairman telling you, right? His goal is to become an investor and M&A expert. The vice chairman then asked further, like director Si Hoon? Kim didn't think anything and answered yes. Hearing this, the vice chairman smiled wickedly. He thought to himself that even if he didn't join Sun Yen and only postpone his investment and in M&A outside, he was still just a merchant of Sun Yen. He had no chance to play with power. Then he said, actually, I thought there would be a grandson who would be a prosecutor. It's really the power of blood. Then he picked up the bottle of wine and poured Kim another glass and continued, I also want to hear your thoughts. Will the DA construction project go smoothly? I heard it's a big project, but since it's an outside project, I don't care. Kim innocently replied, the project has no obstacles. Don't worry. This is a trillion won project. There can't be any mistakes. The vice chairman heard that and remembered his father and wondered what his father was thinking. We were stunned for a while until Kim called us back to our senses. He pretended to answer yes and then continued, even if that project succeeds well, it's hard to combine with Sun Yen to back. Fantasy will surely buy it back. Kim hesitated and said, that's right. But the chairman said differently. The vice chairman heard his father's intention and quickly listened attentively. He pretended to say that he was just talking about work and nothing else. Eat quickly. Seeing that Kim only silently picked up food and didn't say anything else, the vice chairman thought he was too obvious. Looking at his face like that, he must have decided something strange. It's hard to hide it anymore. The next day, the story continued at the Sun Yen building. The second son of his uncle was sitting in his room when someone came in. Seeing his eldest brother come in, the second son was annoyed and asked, What are you doing here? Didn't you call me first? But the eldest brother still calmly sat down on the sofa and said, 
I have something to discuss with you. Why are you unhappy? No, I'm still annoyed. But no one who works in the office next door has ever come in here. But today you came, so I feel strange. The eldest brother heard that and just smirked but didn't say anything. The second son said again, I guess you didn't mean to stop by and say hello to me, did you? Just say what you want. The eldest brother replied, yes. Do you know that the director of Sun Yen Construction Company resigned en masse? The younger brother answered, yes, that made the company's whisper big and small. The older brother heard that and was annoyed. He asked if he knew why. The younger brother cautiously replied, I just heard rumors. I'm not sure. The older brother then asked, is it related to director Si Hoon of Fantasy? The younger brother answered, yes, I heard they all went to work at Jawandu. The older brother heard that and knew that his reasoning was correct. He thought to himself, Jin Donkey's ears and eyes are really many. He must have known that this was to buy DA construction. Then he asked, do you know what kind of relationship there is between father and fantasy and Sihun? He was surprised and asked, what are you talking about? What did you notice? His brother angrily asked, don't you care about your cousin? But he calmly replied, it's not time yet. His uncle asked impatiently, why not? He answered, I think it's because Junzi's father loves Du Jun very much. Of course, he also values Junzi. Besides, he is good at making money now. Maybe his father wants to give him something. He probably thinks that if he gives Sun Yan's shares to him, you or I can take them back. His brother was furious and asked, Is that a fantasy thing? But he said, I heard that Si Hoon is Junzi's friend. His father invested in that company. Maybe he is trying to improve some things there and make it grow more. Then he will give it to Junzi. He must think that we can't touch it. His brother was still annoyed and said, Is that why he gave him the construction company and the car company? Don't you think he gave Johnny too much? He still said casually, Oh, you mean DA construction? Its scale is only half of Sun Yen construction. It's not like he split up Sun Yen construction and gave it to him. Hearing his brother's speculation, he smiled sarcastically and said, You seem so calm. I guess you don't know what the first project that DA is planning to do this year is? He was annoyed and thought to himself, as he said, I don't know what they are planning to do. Does he know? Then his brother said, I know you are curious but too proud to ask. So let me tell you. The project that DA is planning to do is a project worth thousands of billions of won. He was shocked when he heard such a large amount of money. He stood up and asked again, Did you just say a project worth thousands of billions? His brother calmly answered, Yes, if the project succeeds, DA might be on par with Sun Yen construction. We should check why his father gave it to someone else. He was still stunned by the shocking news, but he replied, how can there be a project worth thousands of billions in this country? And it's a project of a bankrupt company like DA? They should pay their debts first. His brother replied, but what if the person who drew this picture and directed everything is his father? He looked at his brother suspiciously and wondered if he was lying or telling the truth. He couldn't tell by looking at him. His brother continued, his father gave Yoji a car company. What about a business worth thousands of billions? Can we consider it as a gift for Junzi? He was more angry as his brother spoke more. He clenched his fists and shouted, What are you trying to say? What do you want me to do? His brother calmly answered, Ask his father who he wants to protect. Why does he want to protect him in the battle for Sun Yen? We are enough for him, right? I still want to go crazy when I hear what my brother says. My uncle can't control himself anymore and yells. He always does that. Whenever something happens, the boys come and whine to dad. Aren't you afraid dad will get bored? My brother just stays silent, listens to me, then thinks for a while. Then he says, then let me go and cry to dad alone. 
but if you and I are with him, why don't we complain? My sister told dad to reveal the business situation so we can help. What do you think, my younger brother, after venting your anger, then stand still and ponder what he says? My brother continues, if we tell dad we will buy back DA and try our best to make the project successful, then it means we come to work, not to complain. If we don't want dad to see our appearance, running to find dad and tell him our troubles, we should exchange information. I see my brother act so superior, then I get very annoyed. Then I calm down, sit down and say, it's not Junji, I talk to him, this is not what Junji wants. He wants to give Du Jun something. My brother asks in surprise, Junji? Didn't expect that, huh? I reply, he is also a father. If he had ambitions with Sun Yen, he wouldn't need to say that. We just need not to make him sad. Compared to Junzi and Du Jun who seem more powerful. Dad values Du Jun very much. The kid has never disappointed Dad. My brother replies, it's not Du Jun either. It seems Dad will train Du Jun to become an expert in finance, investment and M&A. I ask again, are you sure? My brother confirms firmly, that's right, the kid is under Sihun's school to learn more. I say again, if you can't think of anyone else, Suunji would have been kicked out long ago. And going through Rome there is no way to squeeze in. My brother is also at a loss because he can't think of a suitable name. Then the two brothers fall silent. Don't know who the last person behind is. That night at the chairman's mansion he asked his two sons, You two asked me what relation I have with fantasy ha? Huh? The two sons both kept silent and didn't answer their father. At this time the chairman was very annoyed. The chairman raised his voice and called, Hey eldest son then again to the other son. Hey fifth you have to distinguish whether the other side is holding a knife or we are holding roses ha. Huh? You two don't think about whether you have the right to discuss becoming the heir of Sun Yen group or not ha. Huh? The two sons were surprised by their father's question. Then the chairman said again, don't remember ha. Huh? How just three to four months ago, they came with a billion dollars and said they would exchange it for our money, including the exchange fee even including the shares of the group that Sun Yang Motor is holding. Never seen such a blatant robber in my life. Yet you two dare to ask, do I have any relation with them or what? The eldest son sweated profusely on his back and didn't dare to speak. The second son asked, if you don't know then why did you accept such an unfair deal? The chairman asked back, what if you didn't accept? The second son thought wrong, then at that time the company's situation couldn't last for 10 days. Not to mention we also once despaired that the company would go bankrupt. At that time even if it was an unreasonable request we had to accept it anyway. Then he bowed his head to his father and said, I'm sorry dad I misspoke. The chairman heard that but his face was still very unhappy. He continued. I gave Sun Yen Motor and some group shares to overcome the IMS crisis. You two don't feel too wrong now the eldest son finally spoke up but sir we don't need to lend a hand to a robber holding a knife. The annoyed father answered, before you want to argue with me, you two should think about why I did that, right? How ridiculous. You two dare to discuss my decision. The two sons heard that and quickly denied, don't misunderstand us, we don't mean that. We asked to understand your thoughts better. The chairman continued, what is it called? When there was a war, they created a huge wooden horse with many soldiers inside. The wooden horse of Troy. The eldest son asked in horror, so you're sending Sun Yang's people at the same time? The chairman smiled slyly and said, of course, I have to get back both the capital and the profit. The two sons then realized that it was like that. In the end, we are just some big kids who only complain to our father at the age of 50. But you haven't answered the matter of Du Jun and construction DA. The chairman said, fantasy is taking advantage of us. They will use our power and relationships to swallow construction DA and carry out a big project. They will grow bigger. After growing bigger, construction DA will invade Aki Group. 
then we will take over Akimoto Group. Although we lost Sunyan Motor, we have to consider Akimoto Group and Construction DA as the profit, right? The eldest son felt like he was stupid. The chairman continued, I don't know the exact time, but maybe you two will be the ones who do it. The eldest son was overjoyed and said, I will remember your words. But the second son was still thinking about something else. He knew that this was not everything. There was something that his father didn't say. What is it? His father always pretended to say everything but actually hid things secretly. Surely his father still had something he didn't tell. Then he asked his father. Although we get back Aki Group and Construction DA, the owner is not Sun Yen. The chairman didn't understand what his second son was saying. The second son continued, Sun Yen Motor has been separated completely. I think it would be better to give it to Junzi. Of course, we have to get back to the Aki Group first. The chairman was very surprised when he heard his second son mention his youngest son Junzi. The eldest brother also didn't expect his half-brother to be so stupid. Then the second son pretended to be kind and said bluntly, give it to Du Jun. After thinking about it, none of us are as smart as Du Jun. Junzi has no ambition so he always feels guilty for not creating opportunities for Du Jun. The eldest brother stood aside and clenched his teeth and thought, this guy dares to surpass even the eldest grandson of this family. The chairman didn't expect his son to love his nephew so much. He was silent as if observing his two sons. He knew that Yankee was the eldest son so he had a lot of influence on others while Junzi was the second son. But he liked the way he had everything and handled everything in secret. But who was protecting them here when they were just people who could only open their eyes and watch their young nephew take over the company? Then the chairman called his second son's name. The second son hurriedly answered. He was annoyed and asked. Where did you learn the habit of treating my things as yours? The second son pretended to be kind and didn't expect to be scolded. He quickly bowed his head and said, I'm sorry, I misspoke because I felt sorry for Du Jun. Then the chairman said, that's enough. I've heard everything you two want to say so go away. Remember what I told you, think of a way to get back what was stolen. My two obedient sons nodded and said, yes, sir. The chairman continued, at the end of this month, they will announce the second startup of the Achen Group. You should also participate and send your congratulations. Sihun, don't forget to encourage Director Cho to Ho. He has to work hard to resist in another place. Then he looked sadly at his two sons and said softly, and watch how Sun Yen, our motorcycle, falls into the hands of others. Do you understand? Then his eldest son and his second son each had a different expression. He knew what they meant but said nothing more. Then they turned around and left. After the two sons had gone out, the old chairman sighed tiredly. He thought to himself, protecting my grandson from those wild dogs is not easy. I'm old and I have to lie. Then at the ceremony to announce the second startup of the Akin Group and the inauguration of the company director, he spoke to greet the guests. Thank you for taking your precious time to come here and make our day complete. Once again I stand in this position after bringing Achimoto to a dangerous situation. He paused for a moment, pretending to be moved, and then continued, A young enterprise always looks to the future, always prepares carefully to achieve the impossible, realizes its dreams with creative thinking and strong will. This is the appearance we have to try to find again from now on. We will leave Achimoto and Sun Yen in the past and replace them with a new name, H.W. We will try to help this place last forever. That day at the large mansion of the chairman, he was surprised to see who came today. Du Jun walked in with surprise. He stood by his grandfather and put on a good grandson's face. His grandfather asked, Why are you here so early? The party is just getting started. Du Jun politely thanked him for making him the owner of the Aki group. How can I enjoy it alone? I want to invite my grandfather for a glass of wine to celebrate. The chairman looked at his grandson and asked, 
Why did you bring wine from a bankrupt company here? Du Jun just smiled when he heard his old grandfather say that. Then he said, This is a wine that contains 70 years of history that Chairman John Coase, the founder of Pedro Brand, never expected that this wine would last for 70 years. Moreover, even though the company went bankrupt, these wines are still widely sold. Then he looked at his grandfather and assured him that Pedro wine would not disappear. The old man took the bottle and said, even if the owner changes, the product will not disappear. Then he looked carefully at the label of the bottle. The old man continued, I'm very pleased with that statement. Let's have a drink. Du Jun thought to himself, maybe he has figured out what I want to say, that Pedro wine is the future of Sun Yen. Well, a little different, that if we share blood, then the owner can be changed, right? Then the chairman raised his glass and said, Congratulations to my grandson. I'm very proud of you. When I was your age, I only had a few pieces of gold, but now you have what I had at 40 when you're only 20. Du Jun heard that and stood up to thank him. Because you didn't get a farm from your grandfather when you were 10 like me. He bowed his head and said, Thank you very much for everything. It's all thanks to you. The old man replied, no pain at all. The grandsons of the Chable groups in Korea own farms worth tens of millions when they are 10 years old like you. They are all 23 to 10 now and many of them only know how to have fun and enjoy themselves. Only I can help that farm increase by a hundred thousand times what I have now. It's not because of me, but you have created the miracle. You have the right to be proud. Du Jun stood and listened to the old man praise him and smiled. Suddenly today this old man was cheerful and cute in a strange way. Then the old man drank a glass of wine and said, I used to drink this kind of wine a lot, but now I can't taste it. Du Jun held the glass of wine in his hand and thought, me too. I used to think it was fun to drink this kind of wine and eat pork belly, but now I don't have that taste anymore. At this time, the old man asked about the situation of DA construction. Du Jun replied, I'm negotiating with the bank. Both sides are making concessions. The administration department is also calculating the exact amount of money. They are also recovering the money embezzled by Director Kang Mo Sung. The chairman pretended to sympathize and said to the police, it's hard work. Du Jun replied, I'm very grateful for your support but Director Khan still refuses to pay for the shares even though the police said they would arrest his daughter and nephew for embezzling funds. Du Jun exclaimed to the old man, money is scary. He still clings to it even though he's dying. The chairman heard his nephew say that and paused for a moment and said, no, it's not. Du Jun was very surprised. The chairman continued, the money from the shares is his last weapon. He thinks that he will withdraw it only once at the decisive moment. Du Jun asked in surprise, but doesn't Director Kong have much time left? The chairman replied, if his family is arrested and convicted, the money from the shares will be used to pay fines, right? Du Jun answered, yes. How can he still have a chance? Hearing this, the old chairman laughed, showing his worldly experience. Du Jun was dumbfounded as he listened to the old chairman explain, that money will go to the state treasury. You can't touch it either. Du Jun thought to himself, although he still didn't understand what he meant, but if he returned the money from the shares to DA, Director Kong and his family would avoid being arrested. And if he still resisted, the money from the shares would go to the state treasury, his family would be arrested, the first choice was wiser. Anyone could see that he had no chance left. So why did his grandfather say he still had a chance? At this time, the chairman spoke up and said, You are being drawn into meaningless emotions. And letting go of the money, the old man looked at his nephew and said, It seems you have forgotten the spirit of a businessman. Then Du Jun panicked and said, Meaningless emotions? No way. I only think about money. DA construction will be normalized again thanks to that money. At this time, the old chairman shouted two words of righteousness, making Du Jun shudder. The old man continued, 
you are feeling indignant because of righteous emotions. Director Kong and his family can steal money from a collapsing company to live comfortably, while not paying wages to employees. They absolutely cannot be forgiven, right? The old Director Kong is treating you as a businessman. He believes that you will try to make a proposal to squeeze more money out of him so he has been resisting until now. Du Jun was extremely surprised when he heard his grandfather say that. The chairman continued, what does it matter how other people live or think? A businessman must think of ways to get money from other people's pockets into his own pocket even if it's just one penny. Du Jun felt like he was collapsing when he heard those cruel words. He remembered himself. My anger towards Director Kang Mo Soon was because I saw my past in the image of the DA employees. At this time, the chairman said, from now on, think carefully. How much money do you have to leave in Director Kang's pocket to make him accept your offer? After saying that, the old man breathed out, probably because he was tired from talking. Du Jun then asked, so you mean you want me to leave some money for Director Kang's family and help him escape the crime? The old man laughed and said, that's right. If he agrees to return half of the money from selling the company shares, then he can be considered repentant and can reduce his sentence. It's a very good scenario. Du Jun was very angry when he heard the old man say these words. He was very uncomfortable but didn't know what to do. When he was angry, the chairman said as if he knew his thoughts, don't think of any other way. Don't think of keeping the money first and then dealing with Director Kong later. I tell you again, you should only think of money unless Director Kong is not a threat to you. Otherwise, don't bother. Du Jun was startled that the old man was so sharp. He seemed to know his thoughts well. He bowed his head and said, I will remember your words. I will decide according to the businessman's way. After saying that, Du Jun was almost desperate. He didn't expect to become like this one day. The old man looked at his grandson and wanted to say something but then stopped. The next day at a prison that looked like in a movie, the sun shone brighter than outside. Du Jun sat opposite Director Kong and asked politely, Is the prison food to your taste? Director Kong answered casually, I underestimated a company that I had never seen or heard of like fantasy, so I had to suffer this fate. Du Jun was very annoyed to see him arrogant even in prison. He secretly judged that he still looked comfortable. Maybe he still had a sharp weapon as his grandfather said. Then he said, the visiting time is not long, so I will convey Director Si Hoon's words. He asked, do you intend to return all the money from selling the shares to the company or give all the shares to the company? Director Kong answered arrogantly, I know what you guys want to say so get lost. Du Jun sighed when he heard him say that and continued, the prosecution only investigated this far. The execution of the sentence will be arranged by us. We will give you the position of advisor for DA. I heard that the advisor's salary is very generous. Just cooperate well in the future. The old director Kong remained silent and listened. At this time Du Jun continued, we will help you remove the label of shameless that has been ingrained in your bones by the company. It was all a misunderstanding. You were only smeared with your reputation while trying for the company. We saw your goodwill and wanted to invite you back as a communication advisor. We will use eloquent words to make a splash in public opinion. After saying that, he looked at him and thought that he was old so he must care about his reputation. Although the advisor position of DA was not very impressive, it was better than being called a criminal with a record. Moreover, he was a superman who knew that his reputation and money would both decrease if he wanted to fight to the end. Sure enough, at this time Director Kong spoke up and said, Director Si Hoon is really meticulous. How do you guys plan to handle the money I hold from the company? Shouldn't an advisor get more money? Hearing the old man brazenly say that, Du Jun just replied that he also had to pay a lot of taxes. Director Kong heard him say that and laughed out loud. He suddenly stood up and reached out his hand and said, Paying taxes honestly is a citizen's duty. I hope you can help. 
Ben Du Jun also reached out and shook hands with the old man who stole money from the company. He replied that he would prepare a contract for the advisor position. That afternoon at Si Hoon's building, Si Hoon could not hide his annoyance and asked Du Jun, Why is Kanimo son our advisor? Du Jun answered, Yes. He said he would give up all his shares and only get an advisor's salary, although his salary is quite high. Si Hoon asked again, Are you sure he accepted that condition? Du Jun calmly replied, Anyway, his whole family can't escape prison, so he agreed to use all the money from the shares as a fine. He probably realized that it was better to split the money than to fight to the end. Si Hoon asked again, How much do you want to pay him? Du Jun had an answer ready. He wants a salary equal to 3% to 4% of the share value and will receive it for 10 years. Si Hoon thought for a while and said, that's a lot of money, but I guess it's for his own protection. But his salary will be much higher than the director's salary. Du Jun just smiled and said, it will be higher at first. Si Hoon was surprised and did not understand what he meant at first. Du Jun explained, for the first few months, I will pay him as promised, then I will reduce it gradually. He will also have to suffer when he doesn't get paid. Si Hoon just looked at him because he didn't understand how Du Jun would reduce it, but Du Jun continued, the country is in trouble until the project makes a profit. Everyone has to tighten their belts. You know that he always tells his employees that he will pay them the remaining salary based on the actual situation. At that time, Du Jun was sitting on a plane seat reading a book. The man next to him was Assistant Kim who looked around in confusion. Du Jun saw that and said, you can relax. The service here is paid by me. You can order whatever you want to eat or drink alcohol. The flight time is quite long, so you can drink a glass of wine and take a nap. Assistant Kim quickly agreed and then said, there is something related to Deputy Director Jin John Jun. Du Jun asked, Mr. John Jun? Assistant Kim answered, yes, he was appointed as the director of Cho's construction company Sun Yen. Actually, he wanted to be the executive director of the electronics company, but Vice President Jin Zuan Ki ignored his request. Du Jun left the board of directors, so there should be many positions available. He should at least get the executive director position. That's too cruel. Assistant Kim continued, I heard that the construction company is not bad, but it's not as sweet as the electronics company, right? Du Jun turned to him and asked, What do you think? Who has more power between the director of the electronics company Sun Yen and the permanent director of the construction company Sun Yen? Assistant Kim scratched his head and answered, I don't know. Anyway, the main position in the electronics company Sun Yen should have more authority. Du Jun heard that and muttered something to himself. Then he said, things like driving, working hard, reporting on changes in the company can be done by anyone among thousands of employees of Sun Yen as Assistant Kim Assistant Kim was surprised but still listened quietly. Du Jun said again, I once told you an Assistant Kim. Or Manager Shin has a business relationship with him. What do you think you should do to overcome this relationship and gain trust? Manager Kim heard that and thought something to himself but remained silent. Du Jun continued to say, don't just report what happened, but also judge the situation at that time. Why did this happen? What will change and what will happen in the future? Because of this, I want to hear those thoughts from you. Assistant Kim bowed his head and thought, then answered, yes. Then he heard Du Jun continue to say, only when your judgments are accurate and more often accurate, then you can create trust. The deal makers can change at any time, but nothing can replace trust. Assistant Kim bowed his head and said, I will remember what you said. Du Jun heard that and smiled lightly, then said further, I'm not grading you, don't feel sad. Assistant Kim said, No, it's because I can't get rid of the thinking of a runner. Thank you for your advice or warning. Du Jun was silent and didn't say anything, just silently hoped that he would remember these words. There were many people who showed determination, but those who used actions to show determination were very rare. 
At this time, the plane continued to fly towards the other side of the horizon. The next morning at Hyge University of Iran, the scene switched to the inside of the document room of the school. There were many types of newspapers and books stacked on the floor and on the chairs. Du Jun and another man were in the room. The fat man asked, Why do Hollywood magicians want to meet me? I'm just a person struggling with mathematical formulas. He was A.M. Sama. Du Jun answered, Hollywood is just a part of our investment project. We are always interested in new companies with many features and new technologies. Mr. Sama asked, Are you interested in Conitin or Say? Du Jun answered, Can you explain it to me? Sama heard that and was a bit thoughtful, then explained, Conitenser is a three-dimensional optical solution that can measure the accuracy of metal parts or assembly details. It is the name of the solution and also the name of the company. Du Jun smiled, I don't fully understand it yet, but it's okay. This person is a genius professor and every product he makes is famous. I will add his company to my list. Mr. Sama was surprised and said, what? Du Jun answered, yes, the reason I came to see the professor is because I'm interested in the technology that provides income information from cameras to users within the minimum digital range. How astonished Mr. Samira was, he asked, how did you know? Du Jun said, I once read an article about artificial intelligence and computer vision. Well, not exactly read. An employee in the company showed me the article. I only understood the general concept. Mr. Sama asked, Do you think that concept is so amazing that it can surpass other continents? Du Jun answered, It depends on where the technology is applied. The value will vary. Have you thought of any fields yet? Mr. Sama stroked his chin and said, Of course I have, but I'm also curious about your thoughts. Du Jun replied seriously, The eyes of a car. Mr. Samo was very astonished to hear that. Du Jun continued, I tried to imagine a car that applied your technology. If a small camera collects information from the area around the car and informs the driver within a minimum range, then it will warn before contacting the outside. What if the camera on the rear shock absorber projects the whole scene onto the monitor inside? Then the driver doesn't have to turn his head back when reversing or parking. What if the front camera calculates accurately the distance with the car ahead? Then the accidents will be significantly reduced. It can also brake automatically when it receives a traffic light signal. Mr. Sama said, I will try to improve the lane recognition ability. That will prevent drifting out of lane. If we convert analog data to digital, we can put it into the car system. Du Jun smiled and said, That's right. The ultimate goal you want is a self-driving car. Mr. Samo was so excited that he stood up. Du Jun opened his mouth and said, Let's get to the main point now. Mr. Samo wondered, What main point? Du Jun said, The reason why I crossed the sea to come here. Mr. Samo crossed his arms and said, I only have the concept and basic theory. Do you want to invest? Du Jun said, I haven't mentioned the investment conditions yet, but don't be too surprised. Mr. Samo was surprised and opened his eyes wide. Wait a minute. The possibility of developing a self-driving car is very low. It only appears in science fiction movies. Well, of course it is possible in theory, but I don't know when it can be used in reality. Du Jun smiled mysteriously and said, What could be happier than turning dreams into reality? The name of our company is Fantasy. Mr. Sama was speechless. Du Jun stood up and walked toward the door. He said, I'm staying at Seo Tun Hotel. You can think carefully about the investment conditions and contact me anytime. Oh, and Conitenser too. Goodbye, Professor. The professor was still stunned. He regained his senses and said, Goodbye, Du Jun. I'll contact you. Du Jun left the room without answering. He would soon become a major shareholder of a company worth over 10 trillion won that owns the core technology of self-driving cars. 
he would accept any proposal he made. He would use the technology he got here to increase Asin Motors' market share in Korea and compete with high-tech cars abroad. The scene shifts to the villa of the old chairman. The old man is angry and asks the kid why he went to that dangerous place. Do Jun smiles and answers, I'm fine now, sir. The old man continues, I tried hard not to call you. I didn't want to disturb your work. Do Jun replies, You can call me anytime. I just went for some fresh air. The old man says, You went all the way to the other side of the earth for some fresh air? I won't ask you anything, so don't give me any empty words. Do Jun smiles faintly. The old man continues, That's not the reason why I wanted to see you urgently. At this moment, someone knocks on the door of the room. The chairman's daughter enters. She says, Oh, Du Jun is here too. The old man sees the couple coming and says, Sit down. I have something to announce. The old man looks serious and says, Son in law Choi, do you have any problems with your nomination for the Seoul market? Choi answers, No, sir. Everything is going smoothly. Du Jun observes them and thinks to himself, They look very happy. They must have achieved their first step. Market expansion is inevitable. The old chairman says, I'm sorry to say this, but there is something you need to know. It seems that the ruling party has chosen Go Kanzon as their candidate for the mayor of Seoul. The couple is shocked. Du Jun thinks, Go Kanzon was the ruling party's candidate who won the second local election in my previous life. He has met a big opponent. The old chairman looks at his nephew Du Jun and says with a smile, It seems that you wasted your money, Du Jun. Du Jun asks, But sir, how do you know that? I haven't seen any news about it. The old chairman answers, How do I know? That Gokazone called me this morning. He asked me how to join the ruling party. Du Jun wonders why he needs his permission. The old chairman says, He used my money to climb up to that position. Of course he needs my approval before he dares to compete with my son-in-law. I also wanted to hear him say that he won't interfere too much. Du Jun thinks disdainfully, that smile. He is enjoying this situation.